All righty. Game number two is going to be on Foxtrot Labs. Stats almost looks more nervous than Rogue does going into this one after that first win. He wants it more. Well, he wants it more, man. Starts to look that way, Moonglade. Let's jump into game number two here at the Neighbor Star League, round of eight. The top left, it's stats for KT Rolster. Taking an almost effortless win there in game number one. Ooh, he is stressing. Somebody give him a shoulder massage. In the bottom right, we do have Rogue. Let's hope he doesn't look, go to the the sad rogue. You, you remember sad rogue? Sad rogue is really sad. Yeah, he looked really upset the other the other week. I don't like sad rogue. No man, he can, he can get pretty upset, pretty tilted. Uh, he looked very upset against Myungshik, Uh when he was losing. Yeah. Now, just uh, something that got pointed out there by our uh, observer, and is pointing out again: his APM keeps dropping to zero. What does that mean? It means the stats is because hands off the keyboard stretching. Mm. You know, he's he's probably cracking his knuckles. Uh, now we got the camera up so you can actually see it. Well, um, I, you know what? It's like uh, he's, he's rubbing his shoulder like that, and I think he's tensing too much while he plays and, like, leaning forward. Something that I've, I've definitely dealt with before is, like, uh, yeah, it can kind of affect your shoulder, and it can even affect your neck and start giving you headaches. Yeah. So maybe he's, like, he's practicing just a little too much and, like, not sitting up properly or something, and you can definitely do some damage like that. Yeah, you got to be careful about that. Yeah, I've, I've had some horrible sort of things, uh, especially like halfway through last year. I, I was getting headaches from like my neck muscles being too tight. Yeah, you gotta Worst thing in the world. Make sure your posture is good, uh, that you're not too tense when you play. That was a problem I've always had um, with my wrists. Um, back when I was playing uh, competitive StarCraft 1, and I was playing a, a rhythm game called Oast when I was once like really highly ranked in that game. I had some mad carpal tunnel, man. My hands were just wrecked from that game. Mm. I had to just take a step back. You know, I've never had problems with my wrists or hands or anything like that. It's always, uh, the only time it really happened was, yeah, with my neck. And I fixed that up, finally. Once again, we are seeing that early pull from Rogue. Yeah. Here's Mind a probe you. scout to confirm. Let's see what he can do on this map. This map, uh, in these positions especially, the ramp, sorry, the, uh, the choke to the natural is tremendously big. Yes. Speedlings can do a lot of damage on this map, which is why we see Protoss kind of hate this map a lot more. Down this map, Vito, it, as well as this, getting that gold, gold base, base for Zergs. Gold base is about to get dropped here in just a second once he has those minerals. This is oh. bringing me flashbacks to uh, to Life. And who did he play again? I think it was Life. It might have been Life versus Hero, even. He on this map, he went for the natural at the goal base and just went speedling, speedling, speedling and killed him. This could be another game like this. We are seeing Zealot and Probe being pulled already. Yeah, there's a lot of links here. And I mean, with the goal base, he can reinforce faster. He's going to have some extra minerals to do this with. And uh, just to point out, of course, with uh, this build, he does not leave the one drone in gas. It's a little bit more extra minerals he gets with this. He doesn't need that for anything else. That Nexus is going to start taking some serious hit point damage here. This is Cannon goes damage. down. Oh, big surround. No, going to be running in. He just decides to run into the main instead. And with speed, it's going to be so difficult to micro these probes properly to drone, or rather probe drill, if you will, against these lings. So he's going to cause him to lose a lot of mining time. But, you know, it, the longer that Stats keeps this alive, he's going to eventually get a Nexus Cannon. This is not an ideal situation by any means, but he's well, hanging in there. He's going to lose this Nexus. He's taking a lot of damage to this Nexus. Yeah, he's going to try and commit to stopping it. Even going for a probe sort of uh, block on the ramp. That was pretty cute, but it's like just that. it's not enough to actually stop them, but he saves the Nexus for now. And he's now going to start working on these shields. Great micro out of stats. Always on top of his probes. He's lost very few workers. And a second cannon is queued up now. Oh, that Zealot needs to get back to where he was. Oh, still not enough for photo and overcharge, and that Nexus is getting mighty low. Yeah, he's actually fighting these units. A few of those uh, lings are attacking the Nexus. Still not enough, though. He's, he keeps it alive. Wow, I think he might have stabilized, actually. I think so. I mean, back at home, he does have that gold base, but it's not mining. He Fert doesn't have any charge. drones there. He can photo and overcharge any time he wants now. I think he's trying to wait and do it the last second, but... Well, he can't because that Nexus, and especially the the Nexus below and the Natural, can get focused down awfully quickly. He's going for the cannons instead. I'm not sure if that's the right choice here. Debatable, yeah. He's going to lose a lot of links. 
I don't know about that choice, man. Yeah, I think that was a huge mistake. He should have just killed the Nexus. I think he definitely could have got the Nexus there. Kill the Nexus, go into droning, especially on that gold base. You're miles ahead. From this there, I mean, the natural's up and running. It's, it's mining. It has eight probes already. And you're still making Zerglings. Oh, I'm concerned um, about these three links for stats. Uh, it's going to be a bit of an annoyance for a little bit longer. He makes two more cannons here because it looks like Rogue is just going to continue the all-in. I think we need to see a bit more of a SimCity, maybe with some pylons uh, around this this natural. I think he can get the Nexus this time if he commits, even with three Zealots here. Yeah, I think so as well. He really just doesn't want it, man. I guess the shields have regenerated a little bit, but he's just really focusing on just wiping everything out and just containing him. And it's just not going to happen. This just didn't work. Complete failure. Oh my god. I 62 links have died this game. Rogue is uh, kind of... Is he on tilt or something? I don't know. He's going to be up to this game, that's for sure. How many shields does that Nexus have? 150 nearly now. Yeah, it's getting croned up. Tight wall here with the Zealots. That's going to be... Oh, well, he... Okay, that one Zealot was almost dead. Yeah, that one, sorry. That was, that was on, like, 1 HP. But still, I mean, sure, he's going to do some probe damage in the main base, but he's still making Zerglings. Yeah, and that's a bit of a concern. If he could just get a SimCity up, like you said... Well, he did kill a lot of the hit points on those cannons, but he, he just can't get into the main anymore. It's not going to happen. He has thrown up to 18. Did you hit that I key? I'm really curious how, you know, the income is still not quite as good. Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's not good at all. It's I not mean, good enough. He's going to catch base. up pretty quickly with the goal base, but still, like, he hasn't found that much damage for this to be warranted. Keep making Zerglings. And now the Stalker's out. The links can't run away forever. Eventually going to get whittled down and killed. And Warp Gate Research is halfway done. Stats has an economy where he could add a few gates here. I don't see how he decides to follow this up. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it why he's still making Zerglings from here. Like, he's making Zerglings. He went into drones, back to Zerglings. He's not going to find damage with it. Not with three cannons there and a ton of HP, or shield specifically, on that Nexus. Mothership Core is out there to spot how many Lings are out there. Is always mm -hmm. checking. Motor Nova Charge also ready to go. How much energy? 129 right now on that Mothership Core. So going to have enough for one. Second one, definitely something we could see uh, with a bit more time. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for a Roach follow-up and maybe try and snipe the Nexus from the right side where the cannons cannot reach. But even then, I think by the time he gets there with Roaches, these gateways are going to have Warp Gate. There's going to be four of them, and he can warp in Stalkers and just crush the army. And once he does that, the game essentially ends. Five more drones on the way now. And an evolution chamber. His lings are sitting pretty. Those lings are basically just uh, not drones. Yep, that's a lot of lava wasted. And he doesn't have a third hatch. Doesn't seem to be on the on the cards right now. He's potentially going to add it coming up here. But Stats is just adding a ton of gates. He knows exactly what he needs here. Yeah, we are going to see Roach Speed in plus one. He's even going to get Burrow as well. You think he should get a third hatch for extra larva and a little bit more economy? Well, he can kind of support the income with uh, two hatchery for now if it's making roaches he should be okay but he should definitely consider transitioning into a third base soon obviously you never want to be on the same amount of bases as a protoss and we're even seeing uh, more and more gateways being added as well as a robotics facility keep in mind guys too that that gold base does not have as much money in it in total as a regular base it's going to mine out really fast well, here's the biggest problem of all on this map specifically look where that gold base is and look what you can do behind it you can set up shop there yep. and kill all the drones like there's no way you can stop it as a zerg that's exactly what we're about to see here too there is good creep spread there so yeah. it can make things a little bit harder you might have to wait for just a few more units before he wants to commit he does have recall as well so he can you know, he gets around and get out alive. Yeah, he's got a lot of flexibility with this comp. Pile on snipe attempt here. Fails. He's, he's got six roaches on the map, I believe, with yeah. eight more on the way now. He should actually have enough roaches to deal with this, maybe. Oh, wait, there's more and more gateway units coming from the main, and down go the force fields. To make sure he doesn't get his army cut into two pieces, because that's the one way he could lose units, because the recall doesn't cover everything. Burrow is done, and that's going to be a big annoyance here because he doesn't have any sort of detection. Yeah, he can just overpower there. It's going to be an awkward position no matter what happens, and he's lost mining from the goal base, which is a lot, or like half, more than half his income. Yeah. Five drones go down as well, and these roaches that were burrowed, you know, they can't, they, they don't do anything if they're underground, so he does eventually try to escape with them. He's just setting up shop, like you said, getting a few more 
pylons out here, setting up a more aggressive reinforcement point that Observer is headed across the map. 20 roaches on the map now. It's a lot of roaches. Yeah, it could be able to get something done. Force fields, though, they make up for it. He could be uh, burrowing right now as well. One yeah. thing to note. He decides not to, instead just taking a lot of roaches, uh, roach losses. And we could actually see, um, we could see stats simply go into Immortals at some time as well. To yep. make his life a lot easier. He does have an Observer out now. He's about to have plus one shields. And this Mothership Core has Time Warps that have not even been utilized. Could actually go down right now. There it is. Yeah, he can, might be want to save the other one for a recall. Or maybe just simply confident to, to end the game here. And I think he might be. I think it's just too far gone at this point, Moon, but I think he's definitely got this game in the bag. Yeah, when you're up 30 supply like this, uh, usually means the game has ended with the upgrades still. Well, armor finishing right here. GG. GG. Rig with a bit of a shaky game, too. Not finding anything with his speedlings. And you know what? This is probably life coming into play. This is one of the things life does on this map. And no doubt, we did see stats probably practice with him a lot with this. And be like, okay, what am I going to do on Foxtrot, man? And don't be don't be fooled, guys. The, the life joining the team, you know, just very recently. Like, the announcement was, what, yesterday? Um doesn't mean that they have they've only been practicing for a day if he joined the team they have been talking probably for months they've probably been preparing you know practicing together quite a lot you don't just say hey i saw you won a lot of tournaments i want you to join i want you to join the team it's like hey we were thinking about having you join the team let's play a lot of games together let's do some scrims let's you know hang out and uh and play some practice games play some customs bro getting a little chat here with his coach yeah he's gonna need a bit of a pick me up after uh failing that game Tried to do what he could on this map. Stats just gets two SmackDown wins, man. They, they were brutal. Pretty one-sided, that's for sure. He is looking really informed, despite his shoulder. He's getting it done. He, he kind of had a great sort of reaction uh, to what he was going to be up against with his feelings. Obviously getting that forge, putting down those cannons, and just deflecting everything. Not really taking any damage. So smart. Well, I worry for Rogue here. I don't, don't want to see that sad rogue. I don't want to see it either, Wolf. I mean, we need more Zergs in this tournament, man. He's the only, the only other Zerg besides life here. Not an easy place to be in right now. Oh, boy. Well, he had to talk with his coach. And if you can, if you can actually just, you know, mend.